Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Fox Simulator and we are here with Kilala and what the heck is that? Oh, I thought it was a porcupine. <laughs> it looked a little bit like a porcupine from that distance, but it was not. It is actually just a nice, nice carcass for us to come over and eat off of. So let's go ahead and do that and then run on down and get a little bit of water. All right, nice little bit of water. And thank you guys very, very much because we have now thought long and hard over whether or not we should keep Thistle claw as our potential mate or if we should go ahead thistle claw thistle claw you look like you look like you're in a little bit of a jail or something there buddy or if we should go ahead and try to find a brand new mate especially because we're not really sure about thistle claw he wanted us to get involved in something that was pretty dangerous oh come on come on come on i want to do the pouncing the pouncing is so much fun oh yes 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 all right perfect pounce we got ourselves a new rat to eat there we go but Thistleclaw has a really amazing history because he was born from a fish that just showed up out of nowhere and turned into a fox. And a lot of you guys have thought that maybe the three-tailed fox that we need to fight over here is actually the one who killed off Thistleclaw's family and turned him into a fish as a curse. And I really like that idea. So even though I'm unsure about Thistleclaw still, I'm going to give him another chance. He hasn't really proven himself to me just yet, but I'm hoping that we can go ahead and see if he's going to kind of like become a stronger wolf become a wolf that or wolf what am i saying i'm sorry i'm so used to wolf quest <laughs> become a stronger fox so there we go and become a fox we can be really proud of and hopefully won't be a mistake hey come on come here come on i'm gonna get you come on i'm gonna get you come on i really want to get you why can't i get this this little rat oh boy because we're about to be chased are they chasing the rat? Wow. Hey, can I chase you? Ha oh, ha, no. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to be able to pounce you. Do you have to do like the perfect pounce somehow? Okay, I'm gonna have to like study how to be able to pull off the perfect pounce. All right, let's go ahead and eat this guy. But yeah, we're just about ready to have some babies. And this will call, what was that? He's, he's a flying fox. He can fly, you guys. Maybe we shouldn't turn our noses up at him so quickly. So yeah, just about ready to hit level 15. And when you hit level 15, that is when you unlock the ability to add a new fox into your little group. And so far, do I have any points to level up with? No, I don't. Oh, I do have a buff to add. Okay, I'm going to add in the effect buff. And then nothing on the skills. But yeah, when we will hit level 15, that's when we will unlock the ability to add in a, another new fox to our group. I'm pretty darn sure. Oh my gosh, Kilala, stop spinning around. That's making me dizzy. Um, and that'll be also when we unlock the Arctic Fox, which would be very interesting. So I'm going to have to think about this. And we haven't really found any more of the facts. Um, so what to do? I kind of feel like we should just go ahead and have Thistleclaw and Kilala have a little kit together, have a little fox kit together. But at the same time, I feel like they need to take on a challenge of some kind to see if they're meant to be together. So to level her up to level 15, I kind of want to go and fight. What is going on over here at Thistleclaw? I kind of want oh, he's just laying down. I kind of want to go over and try fighting um, maybe the dog, the farm dog. Oh, there's a bunch of skunks. Can I get the skunk? Let's see if we can get the skunk. Huzzah! Come on. Come on, little buddy. I wonder how you line it up just right. Do you just have to keep pouncing until you can land on top of it? Is that it? I'm not sure. Oh, he's so cute. Come here, little skunk. And well, a few of you guys have said that these are actually badgers. We're doing pretty good. And actually, yeah, I could see it being a badger. Being a skunk would be pretty fun, too. It would be hilarious if we could get sprayed. All right, let's go ahead and eat it. Yeah, we're going to level up pretty soon. All right, let's go Let's go look for the dog. I We need to fight the farm dog. I think that I kind of want to go fight to be... Oh, is that another strange fox coming at me who's kind of like swimming? Or was that just Thistleclaw? Whoa, where did he go? Thistleclaw, did you see that? He just vanished. He just vanished. I don't know where he went, Thistleclaw. He looked like he was swimming through the air. Is he, is he somehow related to you? Should I be concerned? I feel like I should be concerned. All right. 
All right, we've just got too many things going on. Let's just go ahead and dive on into it. We're gonna eat, um, we'll probably level up pretty soon. I kinda wanna go fight the, the three-tailed fox again, to be completely honest. I really wanna go try doing that, but I hear that the boss is really hard, even if you do the dodgy thing. So let's go ahead and we'll go see about the dog. I think the dog is straight ahead this way. So let's go see if we can fight the dog with Thistleclaw. And this will actually be the fight that helps me determine if we should keep Thistleclaw as a mate or if we should go ahead and get rid of him and go, no, Thistleclaw, no more. All right, over the fence. Anything? There's some billy goats and things like that to eat, but not really any chickens. Oh, there he is. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to come over and we're going to try fighting this, this dog and we're going to see if we can win the fight with the dog. I'm a little nervous. This is actually considered a boss battle. But if we can defeat the farm dog, jump, jump, Kilala. What are you doing? Move it, move it. Did that sheep just ram me? Has he summoned the sheep to like help him out? Are you kidding? Did you guys see that? That sheep just tried ramming me. Oh, there he is again. Why can't I do the pouncy thing? Okay, forget the pouncy thing. Attack, come on. Come on, we can do this. It's just a dog. We fought a crocodile. Come on, Thistleclaw. Let's show him what's for. Let's show him what's for. Yeah, yeah, take that, take that. I need to do more more strength, more powerful attacks. Okay, back up. Take a minute to breathe. Thistleclaw, help me out here. Ah, can I not do, ah, come on, pounce, pounce. Take this, take this. Oh, back up. Thistleclaw, Thistleclaw, help. Come on, buddy. I was giving this, this whole fight was set together to be an opportunity to see if you're going to be a good mate. Here he is. We're about to take him out, Thistleclaw. And if you, I don't know you guys. I know Thistleclaw is from a fish and he's super special that way. But I'm just not sure. Is he just, oh, he did it. The guard dog has been defeated. He did finally come through for us. I wasn't sure, Thistleclaw. I really wasn't sure. Now you have experienced what it is like to actually have to do the intense fight. And I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure. I'm just not sure. That didn't answer any of my questions. That that more than anything just made me go, okay, I don't think that this little claw is really meant to be our mate. Oh, well, I don't know. Should I just release him? What's going on over here? What is that? Is that a horse? There's a horse over there, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, well we now have full free access to everything here on the farm. Sorry about that guard dog. We're now, we now have access to the chicken coop whenever we want to eat the chickens because that's what, that's what we are as foxes. Oh, we dug up a bunch of little mice. Do you see these? They're so cute. They're gonna be food too. Now I can use perfect pounce. All right, we'll eat a little bit of mice with a little bit of a side of mushrooms over here. And now we can rule over the farmyard whenever we want. And I kind of feel like we should just go ahead and get a new mate and let Thistleclaw go and be like, okay, Thistleclaw, this is, this is, this is enough. This is enough. Not really sure. Let's see. Is there a spot that I could maybe look at our pack that way and be like, okay, it's over Thistleclaw. Uh, let me check. There is this where we could tell him we release you. Um, you know what? <sighs> and yeah, a lot of you guys are like, don't do it because it's just the way the game is coded. Okay, you know what? We're gonna keep him. We're gonna keep him because I know it is just the way the game is coded for one thing. But the other reason I kind of want to keep him, it, is the dog back? For all of you who would have been sad about the dog, hey, guess what? He's back. So <laughs> apparently we just like knocked him out temporarily. Is he just going to stand there staring at us? All right, maybe we defeated him. So now he's just going to ignore us when we raid the farm. I can only hope. I can only hope. All right, let's jump this way. There's a piku. He might be a little bit more trouble than he's worth. Can I get him? All right. All right. Let's see if this little will help out with this. Okay, and then I need to do, and can I do, okay, can I, I guess he's too high level to do, oh no, he's not too high level, <gasps> there, oh, I'm so happy, okay, so we have the pig to eat, so I guess that the, the dog is just saying that he's going to get out of our way, he's not going to mess with us anymore, 
So the dog's fine, you guys. You just saw him. He was standing over by his little his little spot. So yeah, we have full access to the chickens. We have full access. Ooh, look at the garden. <gasps> Can I eat the things here in the garden? Yes! I'm raiding the garden. This is mine now. I can eat all of the things in the garden. I am so happy. This is awesome. We're just going to eat all the berries. We've got full access to the garden. So you know what? Oh, there's even little blackberries over here. This is the best. We have a really good omnivore life here. Eating a little bit of the plants. Eating a little bit of the animals. I'm going to say, even if Thistleclaw isn't... Perhaps the mate I would choose, absolutely. He is somebody who has shared who has shared this world with us for a very long time. This look what do you think? Are you wrestling with me? Okay. What do you think, this look So if if not for his sake Oh jeez, I thought those were like lights and it's actually the fog, but I thought there were lights showing up like a farmer was going to show up with a with a flashlight and come chase after me. <laughs> that would have been a little extreme. Alright, let's keep keep eating. Am I about to level up? Oh, I'm so close to leveling up. I'm going to level up on berries. That's the best way to do it. And we've done it. All right. And now we can breed for a new baby. All right. You know what? I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. We're going to go ahead. I just had a cub. Just like that. <gasps> just like that? Freckles, you need renamed. You need renamed, little one. Oh my gosh. She just had a little white cub. What? What even? Hello, little guy. You're just so tiny. He's supposed to be a red fox. Yeah, so he's supposed to be a red fox, but he has, he had that patterning. I already just changed it. I'm going to change him to being like a little normal looking fox, you guys, because I don't, I don't know. Like, what did he, how did he, yeah, the Arctic fox. Was that selected? Okay, I think he showed up as an Arctic fox, but he needs to be a little a little red fox, if you ask me. But we'll give him that white coat that Kilala had that a lot of you guys didn't like, but now it's his turn to have it because I think it's appropriate since that's what he, he had when we got him. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and delete his name. And instead of Freckles, let's see, is it a girl or a boy? I didn't even check. I didn't even check. So hang on, we're going to call him Jay for just a second. Is it a male or a female? I think it's a little boy. Okay, so I'm going to name him something. Um, since we had him in a berry grove, like a little berry garden, and his father is Thistle, his mother is Kilala, uh, I'm going to call him Thorn. Thornpaw. Thornpaw? <laughs> Thorn. There's Thistle Claw, so why not Why not Thorn Claw? Or, yeah, Thornpaw. Mm, it gets kind of warrior catsy then. So I'm just going to go with... Uh, Thorn or bristle or bush or hang on, hang on. I'm trying to a nettle. Nettle, nettle is more like a, a female name. So we'll go ahead and we'll go with little thorn. Um, named because he was born in a little thorn patch like this. And now we're playing as him. Oh my gosh, we're playing as the baby. He's just a little baby, you guys. What are we even going to do with him? We should take him back home. We should take him back home so he could eat and so he can level up because that would be amazing. All right, so we need to get back to our den. Let's change back over to Kilala because I have a feeling that she is kind of in charge here. And we just had a baby like out in the open like this. I don't know about that. So let's get him back over. There we go. Let's run back over and get Thorn back to our home, which I think is right over here. Is there some food for him? Okay, there's a few there's a few mushrooms over here, so let's swap over to him. And his very first mushroom, you guys. Oh, and there's a chest. There's a chest. Oh, look at them. Look at them. A big family group like this. This is awesome. And there's a little chest. So let's send the curious little baby down to open up the chest and let's see what's in here. All right, hang in there, little thorn. And he's going to start his life off being a treasure finding a little treasure finding wolf or wolf. I keep saying wolf because I'm so used to wolf class. Sorry about that, you guys. Treasure finding fox kit. All right. And he's got a little mushroom to eat. So we'll send him up here. Up you go. Come on, little guy. There. What a jump. All right. There we go. He's he's stuck again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. So we'll let him go ahead and eat this mushroom. All right. So that actually takes care of having a baby. And I think we unlock... Um, 
We'll unlock more slots, like at the 20, 25, so on. Oh, Kilala's mission with the three-tailed fox is like doubled up now. So I think we have to go to defeat that three-tailed fox. That's very interesting to see. So Kilala, I think we need to go ahead and get her over to start training more. We should probably train Thorn up because actually maybe... Oh, what is that? Is that a moose? Oh my gosh. And then where's her house? Where's her den? Is our den right over here? Our den should be right over here. Let's take everybody in there and go rest inside. There's our house! Yes! Let's go rest inside where it's nice and safe. And then feed everyone because we've got so much food over here. Hello! Come on, everybody! Come back to the den, please! Yeah, get inside! Thorn, come inside! He's on the outside. Come on, Thorn! You're just a tiny baby and I think everybody is going to try to eat you. Quite literally, because you're just a tiny baby. I wonder when he grows up. Is it when he levels up? Is that when our little guy will become bigger? We'll have to find out. All right. In you go, buddy. Oh, he can't jump because he's too tired. <laughs> That's adorable. Come on, Thorn. You can do it. You can do it. Get into the house. There he goes. Okay, and let's let him eat a little bit. All right, so everybody can enjoy some of the delicious food and they can start getting some rest together. But little Thorn is born. All right, so we'll have to see what he does, but we'll start leveling him up. And maybe when we get him up to like level 10 or so, we'll really be able to take the whole family and go defeat the three-tailed fox. And I think that's a good goal, a good goal to have in life. So Kilala, is there anything else? And then there's a moose just walking by the front door. That's fine. I'm glad we're inside at the moment. Don't go outside right now, Thorn. He could step on you. And then it looks like we just need to take on the mission of getting rid of the three-tailed fox and maybe doing a little bit more exploring in some of these other areas. So maybe even taking on a couple more boss battles. So we'll have to see what else we can do. And if you guys have ideas on things we can do other than having adorable new babies, then let me know. But we'll raise Thorn up to level 10 and do some exploring in the forest because I'm deciding decidedly not a desert or a arctic fox and we'll see what happens next time so i'll see you guys then bye bye